Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that, a huge red day on Friday and we absolutely profited on Tesla puts and spy puts and TQQQ puts. So make sure you stay throughout the entire video because we're going to go over a few different stocks that are going to prepare us for this trading week. Sometimes that's why you have to pull out to the three month chart. I know a lot of traders like to look at the two week and the one week and the one month, but sometimes, of course, I always look at all those charts. But don't forget to also look at those three month and one month charts because what we saw with here was a Tesla double top. All right. So we took advantage of that. And then we saw a triple top. And I was sharing an example of a post from my close friends list. Here you can see a post that I did one, two, three, drawing it out for you guys. Looks like we can see a triple top bearish pattern forming on Tesla. Could take a put out on Tesla early tomorrow morning and ride Tesla down to around $285 per share later in the week or early into next next week also with the bearish news put out by Ford could also be bearish for Tesla this week call this one Tesla was $307 per share to $309 per share give plenty of heads up in my close friends list and get you thinking more like an advanced trader with simple lingo that's easy to follow in layman's terms for beginner traders or advanced traders to understand and I also post my exact strike prices and expiration dates that I post and updates on when to sell. So if you can see the before and after, we call that to a T there, Tesla going down to the support and just absolutely massive gains, hundreds and hundreds of students having success on the Tesla put. Okay, even Abe was up $766, massive success, $313. Okay, we also saw another $318, 88% gain. We saw $313, 61% gain. And the list goes on and on and on. If you want to read some of that in your own time, by the way, click on success number six in the highlight section of my Instagram and success number five. But let's jump right back into the video. So this following week, we are going to continue to play Tesla. The question that you should be asking yourself is where does the triple top pattern go from here? And remember, if you want to see exactly what puts I'm taking out, strike prices and everything, message me on Instagram to get started on that close friends list. But in my opinion, I think we can see Tesla going under $250 per share once again. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Okay, so since we're on a roll with making predictions, let's keep making predictions. All right. So AMD is the next prediction we're making. And what do we see here with AMD? We see whenever it's a big dip, like here, we see a bounce back up. Okay. And what do we see here? A big dip, a bounce back up, a big dip, a bounce back up. So I'm waiting for another bounce back up right here. At least a small bounce back up to around $75 per share on AMD. But my overall prediction is much bigger than that. So in my opinion, I think that AMD is going to drop down to around $60 per share, which would imply around a 15% downward movement still to come for AMD. So in my opinion, AMD will be trading between $55 to $60 per share in the next month or so. And that's why I like to reward my YouTube subscribers for watching in the middle of the videos because that's a little tip that could make you some money. I would be pressing trade, trade options, probably looking at like October 14th or October 21st. And there's some great contracts here like this 68 put, for example, this 67 put, for example. All right, it's only $320. Uh, five dollars to open a contract and if you put a stop loss around 50 to 60 percent you're only risking around 170 dollars so that could be an attractive put to be looking at this week amd put even going out to october 21st for example could be somewhat beneficial because it could take a little bit longer than expected to hit that price target of 60 dollars per share Remember, in my opinion, it will at least bounce back up to around $75 per share. So once we see that little bit of bounce on AMD, like we always see time and time it bounce back every time it sells off. This was a massive sell off. Keep in mind, we saw AMD drop pretty much 32%. Okay, so there's a good chance that it will be bouncing back before it continues to sell off. 
below $60 per share. And everyone wants to talk about ticker symbol SPY, so let's talk about them. We see they're down 10% in the past month, and this tracks the S&P 500 pretty closely. It's not 100% accurate. I think if you pull up the S&P 500, you'll see it closer down to around 8% down in the last month. Okay, so it's not 100% accurate, but ticker symbol SPY does a great job at mimicking the S&P 500, which we should all know by now. If we pull up the three month chart, this is the most interesting chart because it shows the volatility of SPY right now, going up 12 percent in about a month and a half and then just continuing to sell off 14 percent from there so a lot of volatility is raising the market it looks like we are at a support of 365 dollars per share so it'll be interesting if it can break under that if it does i think it can gap closer to 330 dollars per share in the next week or two so in my opinion we could see a bounce back um, in the markets this week um, obviously, after a big sell-off like we just saw 14%, we typically do see at least some sort of bounce back. So don't be surprised or shocked if you do see a bounce back. Um, I closed a lot of my short positions, but once we see at least a little bit of a bounce back on ticker symbol SPY, TQQQ, that's probably when I'll be opening up new put positions on those positions. Okay, and the last one we'll be talking about is Netflix down 4.4%, down 7% on the week. And remember, watch those one month charts because we're starting to see supports here, but also pull out to those three month charts because we see those supports um, going on between July 21st to July 22nd, all the way September 25th. And there's an interesting model going on here. Now, there's two different ways to play Netflix. So I'm going to lay it out nice and simple. If you want it to be more automated, just message me on Instagram and I'll tell you what price points and everything to buy at instead of just figuring it out for yourself. But with that being said, the people that want to figure it out for themselves, here we see Netflix um, at a support of 218 to 213. All right. So once it drops under 215 to 213, there's going to be a good chance that it's going to gap under $200 per share, closer to $190 per share, okay, if that happens. I should say if that happens because, remember, Netflix is bullish right now. There's a lot of analysts coming out and raising their price targets for Netflix because of the news about the updated ad-based uh, subscription tier that they're going to be offering soon. I did a full deep dive on it, and there's a good chance that Netflix is going to win back around 50% of the previous clients that canceled before so it could be a huge jump in revenue for netflix but with that being said if we do see the technicals break below 213 i think it's going to gap below 200 dollars per share into the 175 to 190 range okay that's the one way to play it the other way to play it might be the better way is set your price alerts at 70 175 to 190 and play it on the way up do a swing trade. So once Netflix hits $175 per share, set a price alert. So that way you're notified when to buy Netflix and go from 175 to 225. Get a nice little swing trade in there. Remember, this is not financial advice. These are all just my own opinions. Always do 100% of your own research and only use money that you afford to lose, especially if you're short-term trading, option trading, swing uh, trading. It's the most riskiest way to invest and only use money that you're not gonna need in the next couple months. So I think a swing trade on Netflix, uh, if it does hit the price target of 175 to 190, could be beneficial and maybe even a call option if if we do see Netflix possibly as low as 175 per share again. And I'll also be buying Netflix for long term once it hits 175 per share again. So there's a lot of different reasons to set your price targets at 175 for Netflix, in my opinion at least. That's just my opinion. Again, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy my opinion. Just leave a thumbs up on this video so I do know that you guys do appreciate these videos. And also subscribe with post notifications on. If you guys haven't subscribed yet and you've been watching my full videos, subscribe. It only takes a second out of your day and helps the channel out tremendously. Thank you guys for all the love and support that you've been showing on the videos. And just as a reminder, click on success number six. Look at all these good results and positive money that people have been making. $500 to $1,000 per trade. And some of the smaller investors that are only using $50 to $100 are making two, dollars $300 per trade. So options is a great way to increase your wealth in the stock market. In 2022, if you're looking to work from home and makes a little bit of extra income on the side, great place to start. 
Beginners are welcome. I even have video programs to lay everything out step by step for beginners to get you to a more advanced training level in just 48 hours. So message me if you want to get through that video course, if you want the one on one coaching, and if you want the close friends list, which shows you all my buys, the strike prices I'm buying, expiration dates, and everything in between. I post them in real time so you can see when I take out a contract and when I close it or when I sell and take profits. So, guys, share this video with a friend if you think that they will find it helpful. Subscribe with post notifications on and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.